Now I've seen them where they've been in and stayed in for a while and then came back out, but not normally uh, in and out real quick. Uh, normally it's, it's longer than that. So when you're dealing with that, and we're going to, like I said, we're going to do some hands-on here in, in a bit. Um, when you're dealing with that, basically you got to stay nail. All right. If you're running your hot iron and your regular seam weight behind it, you're going to stay nail. And uh, the biggest problem in, it, that you have is, is not so much getting this one in that I find when I go out and look at guys with the seams, because you can stretch that one in. It's, it's when now the next one that's full, you got to stretch back out. All right? When you stretch that back out, if you don't have it stay nailed, where it was in now pulls back out and you get that fine gap. Correct? Or you get a big buckle you're worried about getting out. Believe me, it will stretch out. Now, with the seamer down, I can eliminate that. The reason I can eliminate that, worrying about the, the stay nails, is because if you don't stay nail it, that hot glue stays hot for quite a while. So when you go to stretch out, because it's still hot, it, it opens up. The glue is still hot. With the seamer down, it's cooling it, sucking the tape up into the backing, cooling it right away. By the time you move your iron up, that when you stretch out, it doesn't move out on you. Uh, how many times have you sat there? We'll, we'll sit here and let me grab this. And you, and you uh, say I went to stretch this piece here. And you stretch it up. And you get it, the pattern lined up. And it's one of these with the fine lines. And said, okay, I got it lined up. And you run your iron up. You run your weight up. And then you move up again. And what you do, you take the pressure off, you come up here and you stretch again. When you took that pressure off this, this uh, power stretcher, what happened? Because the seam is still hot, it'll slide back a little bit. And how many times you've got your whole seam done and you go back and you noticed that you're off just that 16th of an inch to an eighth of an inch in spots. And you go, I know I had this on when I did it. It was on. I was down there. I had those locked in there. Those little patterns. What happened is when you took the stretch off, because the because uh, it was still hot, still cooling, it let it slide back a little bit, and you couldn't see it because it was under your weight, so you didn't notice it that it was sliding back. The same thing when you have when you sit there and you have it going in the <laughs> edge deviation, and it's going in and out. What do you do? You run your you run your iron up, you bring it in together. You get it nice and nice and tight, you get it down, you bring your weight up, now you come up here and it's full. So what you do, you get your kicker, you give it a kick sideways, and you bring this out so you can get that level again. Underneath your weight, it can open it up that little bit. What does it do? It gives you a little gap, shows a seam there, and what did I say, if you have too much or too, uh, too wide, it's going to run that diagonal off. And all of a sudden it gives you that diagonal off. Where when you're when you're cooling that seam as you're going and it's cooling it right away, when you're doing those movements, it's locking it in. It's not moving it. 